Hi guys, welcome to Han War Online. This is Santiago, Hotel India 8, Oscar, Kilo Bravo 8, Sierra Mike. And today I'm going to be speaking a little bit about Grid Tracker and Maps Layers, how you can use the map layers in Grid Tracker to track the advances in your different awards. And we're going to be doing it right after this. So Grid Tracker Maps Layers give you a quick view of how we are doing in each uh, particular award. Grid Tracker has eight different layers, uh, grids, secu zones, ITU zones, work all continents, work all states, DXCC, U.S. counties, and the U.S. Uh, 48 continental states. Each one of uh, those uh, give you a uh, particular information. Uh, changing between each layer is uh, very, very easy. Just look in the, in the menu at your right. Look for the awards icon. This uh, cup here is uh, the cycle awards overlays. And from, you just click, click on it, and it will change to the next maps overlay. For example, if I click, you can see in the top left corner, the grid tracker uh, information bar will give you what layer are you in. CQ Suns is the layer I'm currently in. It will show you how many countries uh, CQ Suns you have worked, how many you have confirmed, and how many you need to complete that at work. So if you click it, one, it will say here CQ, meaning that you are in the CQ uh, award layer. If you click it one again, it will go to ITU, and it will give you the same information. ITU zones, how many zones you have worked, how many zones uh, you have confirmed, um, how many you need. Click it again, it will go to work, work all continents. As you can see, it will give you again the same information in the information bar. Was is what called states. You can zoom on the map here if you want to see it that way. Click again and you're going to see the DXCC. Again, looking at the top left corner will give you the information on how many you have work confirmed on how many you need. Clicking it again, it will go to the next one. The next one is a uh, U.S. counties, you just uh, zoom on the map to see it uh, closely, click it again, it will be U.S. 48, meaning that uh, continental uh, U.S. states, and click it again, it will give you to the main layer, which is the default status of the map that serves for all the purposes, show you how many are online, so on and so on. Uh, assuming, for example, that you are in the, the CQ Zone Award, hovering the mouse throughout the map will give you information on each particular zone. For example, Zone 8, it will give you how many uh, stations you have worked per band and confirm per band, per mode, in that particular uh, zone. For example, if I move to zone 13, it will give me in each band how many stations I have worked and confirmed, and in which mode. And you can see that in any one of the layers, for example, if I go to uh, work all states, Hover over Alaska, it will give me the information on how many stations I have worked and confirmed and in which mode for that particular state. Another thing that you have uh, also to take a look at is that if you, uh, you can set up the maps overlays 
by uh, mode, band, etc. For example, here you can see, uh, let's put here mix band, mix mode, and uh, data from the logbook. That's the logbook I have on uh, Grid Tracker. If I want to see, for example, that's uh, I'm in execution, let's see the XCC. If I want to look for the XCC, say in uh, 20 meters, when it said ban, I go to 20 meters. That if there's uh, the DXCC status on 20 meter mix mode. If I want to keep uh, filtering, uh, for example, on 20 meters digital, I go to 20 meters digital, and that will give me that information as well. If I will say, like, for example, 20 meters uh, phone, it will give me the status of uh, the XCC on 20 meters phone. For example, let's go uh, 6 meters DXCC phone. As you can see, I only have uh, United States on phone. If I go, we go to digital, there you go. 6 meter digital, I have uh, 55 world countries, 53 confirmed uh, from uh, DXCC, so I'm 47 DX uh, countries to complete the DXCC on 6 meters. Uh, let's see what else, for example, 40 meters digital, 40 meters mixed, and so on. We go 30 meters, we go uh, 20 meters like we did before, 80 meters for example. So by playing in, in this menu here, band mode, propagation and data, you can also set up uh, your grid tracker maps to give you an overlay or uh, overview, I should say, of uh, the status of the different uh, QS, uh, QSOs and awards that you're chasing. So that's another uh, thing you have uh, to the opportunity to look in the maps. Okay, two last things I forgot to mention. If you're looking at the grid maps, green means you already have work and confirm, and yellow, you have work but not confirm. Whatever you see a green grid, this means that you have a confirm. If it is yellow, you still need to confirm such grid or country. Also, using uh, the function keys in your keyboard, you can scroll through the maps uh, without using the menu setting. If you bring the hotkeys with uh, function one, there you go, that's a uh, hotkey list. You can see key one through eight is uh, for each map. So you just have to uh, click the number you, you wish. For example, two will give take you to the CQ overlay, three ITU, four WAC, five is WAS, six DXCC, seven US counties, eight US uh, 48 continental states, and one will get you to the main map. Again, so using the hotkey that you can bring up with the uh, F1, function one, you can scroll through the maps without using the menu at the right. And there's also another uh, few other uh, hotkeys that we're going to be seeing in some other videos. So as you can see, there's a lot of information using map layers in Grid Tracker to find out how you're doing on different uh, awards. It is quick, it is easy, and it is an excellent tool. I encourage you to look, uh, look for a grid tracker, and if you're not using it, start using it, and uh, you can thank me later. So as you can see, it's easy. Try yourself 
and let me know in the comments how it went. Thank you for watching 73 This is Han War Online. See you.